Driving live from this news center of the Southern of Oman Television, here we present to you tonight's news bulletin. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qabu sends a cable of condolences to the American president on the victims of the wildfires in California. Sultanus Wilayas and embassies continue celebrating 48th Glorious National Day. And the Sultanat marks Universal Children's Day, which falls on 20th of November every year. Good evening once again and thank you for joining us. Those were the headlines and now the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qabu sent a camel of condolences to His Excellency President Donald Trump of the United States of America on the victims of the wildfires in California. Meanwhile, His Majesty the Sultan sends a camel of greetings to His Excellency President Ibrahim Mahmoud Saleh of Maldives on the occasion of him being elected as the new president. Celebrations of the 40th Glorious National Day continue around the Sultanate. On this occasion, the Excellencies Walis of the Wilayas of Rustaq, Nakhal, and Wadi Al Ma'awil in the way in the Governorate of Southern Batina hosted reception ceremonies where the citizens hailed their accomplishments carried out in each part of dear country, renewing their allegiance and gratitude to His Majesty the Sultan. The attendees also exchanged congratulations on this delightful occasion praying to Almighty Allah to bless His Majesty with great health and happiness. The ceremonies were accompanied by Omani traditional arts and national poems. In the governorate of Al Wusta, their excellencies, the Walis of Hema, Mahout, and Jazer, Al Jazer, held reception ceremonies rejoicing the 40th National Day. They held the achievements of the blessed renaissance of development and civilizational projects in the governorate, which covered all sectors. The celebrations of the 40th Glorious National Day were accompanied by Omani's singing arts and poetic sessions. Meanwhile, the Walis in the governorate of ad also held reception ceremonies celebrating the National Day among various activities. The celebrations were attended by a number of officials in the governorate, sheikhs and citizens expressing their joy on this glorious occasion and forwarding greetings and best wishes to His Majesty the Sultan. Some traditional dances from the Omani heritage were also performed during the celebrations. People of the Wilayat of Samail also celebrated 48th National Day as they pledged loyalty to an architect of Oman Renaissance, His Majesty the Sultan, and 
The celebration ceremony, which included national poet recitation dances and arts exhibition, attracted many citizens and was attended by officials and sheikhs who all expressed their joy on this glorious day. On this occasion, the guest of honor for this occasion, Her Highness Sayyid Dr. Muna bin Fahd Al Said, Assistant Vice Chancellor for International Cooperation in Sultan Qaboos University, stated that she was very happy to participate with people of Samail in celebrating 48th National Day and she thanked all organizers for their wonderful event. Likewise, citizens of the Wilayat of Wadi Al Ma'awil in the Governorate of South Al Batina joined in celebrating 48th National Day and organized a night ceremony on this occasion. The event, which was held under the patronage of His Highness Sayyid Khalifa bin Al Julanda Al Said, included colorful displays of traditional dances and poetry recitation that reflect uh, the sense of loyalty and belonging. Rejoicing the 40th Glorious National Day, a number of celebrations were held in the wilayas of the Governorate of North Sharqiyah, including various activities. More details in the following report. The Wilayat of the Governorate of Sharqiyah region celebrated the 40th Glorious National Day amidst the joy of the people of the Wilayat Governorate where they expressed their love and loyalty to His Majesty the Sultan. In the Wilayat of Sur, His Excellency Sheikh Sakhar bin Sultan Shukeli, Wali of Sur, conducted a reception on this occasion in the presence of a number of dignitaries and a group of sheikhs and people of the Wilaya who expressed their joy for this special occasion of the 48th National Day. Sheikh Muhsin bin Hamad al Maskari, Wali of Jalan Bani Bu'ali, also held a reception on the occasion of the 48th celebration of the Blessed Renaissance. His Excellency Sheikh and all attendees have expressed their happiness on this dear occasion to Omanis under the leadership of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. His Excellency Sheikh Sultan bin Ali al Nuaimi, Wali of Jalan Bani Bu Hassan, also held a reception on this occasion attended by a number of officials and the elders of the Wilayats and a group of citizens who have expressed their joy on this 48th anniversary and they are all proud of the great achievements accomplished in the Sultanate. In the Wilaya of Al Kamil Walwafi also participated in the celebrations of the 48th National Day where His Excellency Salim bin Abdullah Al Madhani, Wali of Al Kamil Walwafi, held a reception for the occasion attended by a number of officials, dignitaries, and citizens, where they expressed their pride in the achievements made in this land. His Excellency Sheikh Talal bin Saif al Hosseini, Wali of Masira, held a reception on the occasion of the 48th National Day. The ceremony was attended by a number of officials, sheikhs, and dignitaries. They have expressed their sincere thanks and congratulations on this occasion to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said. May God preserve him. The Sultanate's embassies in brotherly and friendly countries celebrated the 48th Glorious National Day where their excellencies, the Sultanate's ambassadors in those countries held reception ceremonies on this glorious occasion. The Sultanate's embassy in the United Arab Emirates celebrated the 48th National Day in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Surur bin Mohammed Al Nahiyan and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zaid Al Nahiyan, Minister of Foreign Affairs and International 
international cooperation. The ceremony was inaugurated by His Excellency Dr. Khalid bin Saeed Al Jaradi, Sultanate's accredited ambassador to the United Arab Emirates. It was accompanied by an exhibition that included a presentation of illuminated panels that shed light on achievements of the auspicious uh, government of His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed. The Sultanate's embassy in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia hosted a reception ceremony on the occasion of the 48th Glorious National Day, which was attended by His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdul Aziz, Amir of Riyadh region, and His Excellency Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Azayani, Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, among many officials, heads of the Arab and foreign diplomatic missions, and journalists. The welcoming party was led by His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Hilal Al Busaidi, Sultanate Ambassador to Saudi Arabia. During the ceremony, the attendees also exchanged greetings on this delightful occasion and expressed their feelings of further progress and prosperity to the Omani people. They also hailed the accomplishments carried out in each part of this dear country in various fields. The Sultan's Embassy in, in the Kingdom of Bahrain celebrated the 48th National Day. His Excellency Abdullah bin Rashid al Mudalawa, the Sultan's Ambassador to Kingdom of Bahrain, held a reception ceremony in the presence of His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain. On this occasion, the Prime Minister of the Kingdom of Bahrain expressed his sincere greetings to His Majesty the Sultan and the Omani people stressing on the brotherly relations and cooperation between the Sultanate and the Kingdom of Bahrain. The ceremony was also attended by a number of ministers in the Kingdom of Bahrain and members of the diplomatic corps accredited to Manama and Omani students and a large number of citizens of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Omani diplomatic mission in Geneva held a ceremony on the occasion of the 48th Glorious National Day. It was attended by many officials, heads of the Arab and foreign diplomatic missions, senior personalities, media people and politicians. The event was accompanied by an exhibition for Omani jewelry, hangers, perfumes, clothes and crafts during the event. Some musical pieces were also performed by the Omani Arab and Al-Andalus band. The Sultanate's embassy organized a reception ceremony in Beijing to celebrate the 48th Glorious National Day. The ceremony was hosted by His Excellency Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Saleh bin Hilal Al Saadi, Sultanate Ambassador to China. The reception was attended by senior Chinese officials as well as a number of economic and academic personalities, in addition to members of the Arab and International Diplomatic Corps. You're watching the Sultanate of Oman television and yet to come in our news bulletin. The Oman European Journalism Forum was inaugurated in the premises of UNESCO in the French capital of Paris. Welcome back uh, to the news from the Southern of Oman Television. 
The South of Oman celebrates this day, the Universal Children's Day, to commemorate and reflect on collaborative government efforts with the UNICEF for providing a special attention and care to children. The collaborative efforts by the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Education, Oman Tel and UNICEF have bur the fruit of uh, nominating students to make field visits and represent government units. As an example, the school student uh, Shahad represented UNICEF and acted in such capacity with the direct supervision of UNICEF representative. Another group of children visited Emergency Cases Management Center in the Ministry of Health to have a hand-on experience and explore center's functions and responsibilities. On this occasion, UNICEF representative in Oman stated that the Sultanate of Oman endorsed the United Nations Declaration of the Right of the Children in 1976 and has taken many steps to protect children's rights and provide all services. However, Universal Children's Day is not only just a celebration, but also a reminder for everyone about children's uh, their rights and future. It's worth uh, mentioning that this day celebrates one of the most important United Nations declarations for the rights of the children. The United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, UNICEF, in cooperation with the Public Authority for Radio and Television, organized a children visit to the news center in order to introduce them to the editing, shooting and production of news bulletin. The visit aimed to strengthen children's confidence and grant them with skills of presenting news in addition to learn to deal with news work means. The visit came to stress the importance of childhood care and within the Sultanate joint the work to mark Child World Day. The 48 years of Renaissance March in the Sultanate witnessed growth in various fields. Among them, the development of the IT sector emerged in its high rating globally and regionally. More details in the following report by Saleh bin Khalfan al Rahbi. Day after day, nations are moving towards building digital societies with different means of communications. The Sultanate has made long strides in this field positioning itself on the global IT map as one of the most efficient and sophisticated countries. We are initiating very important uh, projects and initiatives to help young people uh, create their own companies. Entrepreneurship is very, very important for us uh, to ensure that you know, we localize uh, a lot of this technology instead of always bringing this technology from outside. We are working very closely with the government, with the private sector, you know, to develop local expertise in these areas. And we are very keen to see young Omanis, you know, take responsibility in these areas. In the field of national IT infrastructure, the government cloud project was launched. It hosts servers and networks. Currently, it hosts 55 projects for 20 government agencies, and over 39 million transactions were carried out since its establishment. We are a company working in design and in uh, web uh, and mobile app development. Uh, SAS Center really provide us with uh, offices, we provide us also with the uh, consultation services and providing us support uh, for all like contracts we get it. Oman government network currently connects 1,060 websites of 70 government entities and connects 19 government agencies to the high-speed government network. The National Digital Certification Center was launched in 2013. It has offered more than 14 million digital certifications and has completed more than 12 million transactions using digital certification. It has also connected 30 government agencies to the digital certification service. The National Data Center was designed to host systems and data for government entities. It hosts data for 38 government institutions. The development of the IT sector in the Sultanate emerged in its high rating globally and regionally. 
Oman ranks 52nd internationally according to the World Economic Forum, ranked 63rd according to the UN e-government report, and second place in the Arab World e-Services Index. In the field of cybersecurity, the Sultanate ranked the fourth internationally and the first regionally, which gave it the advantage to host the regional cybersecurity center. Oman also received several awards related to electronic transformation and information technology, including 20 GCC e-government awards, 19 prestigious international awards, including 11 UN public service awards, and eight awards from the World Summit on the Information Society. The IT sector in the Sultanate is witnessing a remarkable development. This is evident in the provision of necessary infrastructure, empowering individual skills, promoting entrepreneurship, and in the advancement in information security and cybersecurity. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Saleh Makhalfan al Rahbi, Muscat. Oman European Journalism Forum was inaugurated in the premises of UNESCO organization in French capital of Paris. The forum aimed bridging meaningful and constructive dialogue among Omani journalists and media men with their counterparts in France and Europe. A number of Omani French and European media men participated in this meeting. The forum accompanied by an exhibition to introduce aspects of Omani heritage and development in various fields of the Sultanate. The Omani civilization is well known for its deep-rooted history as its identity is based on stable principles and values as well as traditions. The Sultanate is keen towards documenting its heritage and culture in the World Heritage List of UNESCO to preserve its civilization. From the top of the mountain peaks down to the valleys and the gardens of the palm trees, to reach the shores of the sea, every inch of eternal relationships between glory and Oman tells great deeds and every stone attests the history of the accomplishment Oman has contributed throughout the ages to the cultural of mankind. It was an important station that history books do not miss. It is understood that preservation of cultural treasures is a human duty before being a national duty. The Sultanate has worked to preserve its cultural heritage throughout ages. In many sites of Oman, such as Bahla Castle, and a number of aflage and frankincense sites, as well as the archaeological city of Khalhat. The intangible cultural heritage and the arts, including customs traditions, daily practices, and in light of the rapid life development in today's modern time, this may result in evading and allows others to steal. Thus, the Sultanate's interest became in documenting these heritage in the list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity to UNESCO. Seven cultural aspects have been documented in the list so far, such as al -Bara, one of the famous art in the governorate of the far. <laughs> Al-Azi art, it is a form of traditional poetry recital widespread in all Oman, performed by a group of individuals without rhythmical or music instruments. <laughs> and the art of Al-Ayala. The collection contains a lot of the Omani heritage and folklore terminology and concepts which contribute to keep the alive 
among younger generations. Arabic coffee fragrant originality and the smell of endless tales. The relationships uh, between Omanis and the ancient horses tells the history books that a delegation from Uzd Oman visited uh, the Prophet Suleiman and when they were leaving, he presented them with a horse named Zad al-Rakib. Zad al-Rakib, which was regarded as swift as the wind and from whom it said that all Arab horses descended from. An Omani horse rider or breeder takes care of his horse for the good reasons, which is the symbol of his authenticity and manliness. The horse is an authentic Omani tradition. They race in the show ground as fast as they can without one advancing on the other, making it clear to the audience that they are in tune with each other. In the cross section, the horse riders show their skills in standing on the horse's back and are speeding up their speed. <laughs> The presentation of the camel is also no different from the invasion of the horse meets in the field. The legends begin with an encouragement and cheers of the audience accompanied by a band singing the statues of camels in Oman. For this purpose, the Sultanate has submitted a document to the UNESCO and it is hoped that this month will hear a good news to bring this authentic Omani tradition to the list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Part of the deep-rooted history is being presented there. This is the Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qabu sends a cable of condolences to the American president on the victims of the wildfires in California. The Sultanate's wilayas and embassies continue celebrating 48th Glorious National Day. And the Sultanate marks Universal Children's Day, which falls on 20th of November every year. With that, we do conclude this news bulletin brought to you live from this news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television. From the entire news team and myself, we thank you for joining us. Wish you a pleasant evening and good night. إن درب البناء طويل شاق وعر المسالك كثير الصعاب لا يقوى على اجتيازه إلى غايته القصوى إلا العاملون الصابرون
القادرون على مواجهة التحديات بروح ثابتة وعزيمة ماضية وفكر صائب ورأي سديد